Did the council want to say anything? No, I, I accept uh, with, with Jason. That's where I came from. Um, it, it's almost like uh, the other people in the neighborhood have a say so, just like you did. Now, you're in the most vulnerable place because you're right on that right of way. I rode down there yesterday, uh, not yesterday, but Monday. And, and I can understand the problem. By the same token, with, with the other people not wanting speed bumps there, uh, we ran into the same thing at Terry Heights. You meant to put them out there, they wanted them up. And that's, in the mayor asking you to get these signatures, the only purpose by not getting the signatures is once we put them there, we don't want to have to take them up again. And that's exactly what we had to do in Terry Heights. And I think put them down a third time, did we not? We put them in second time. Second time. Uh, the best thing to do is put the signs. <coughs> and we put the signs out there. The chief said he'll patrol it more than send people out there. But here again, if somebody sees uh, one of our patrol cars sitting there, they're going to slow down. Probably slow down if they see that uh, that uh, radar detector there. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, uh, I don't know the mayor's idea to maybe get some more people in here and, and talk it out. The best thing to do is to, to slow it down without speed brakes. I can tell you that. Uh, experience in many very high. And, and I do want to tell Jason this too, that when you put that speed bump there. You, you'll realize, because it's going to have to be close to your house, you'll realize that, that people not only will avoid the speed bump, but at 2 o'clock in the morning, you'll have four-wheel drives going through your yard to get around the speed bump. So when we put speed bumps, we not only have, usually have to come back and put up other things, but, but you've seen around the park and stuff, you have to put barriers all the way around because people will intentionally find a way to get around. So, you know, when we look at it, we... Um, We've got to make sure that, that we have, we fix it. Where we don't, <coughs> you know what I'm saying, you've seen it at the park. Where you don't automatically create a whole nother liability. And we can't sit out there all the time. We can't monitor it all the time. And like I said, keep them out of my yard. But you can ride around the park and you can see what happens. Okay. The, the speed trailer, I can take it and turn the display off. So people won't know how fast they're actually going and still record the data. It seems a tendency when you see that speed trail, some people want to see just how fast they can go. That's what I noticed. <laughs> the first time it was there, I noticed that when you was when you went over the speed limit, it turned red and it was blinking. Now this time, Saturday when I witnessed this one, it stayed orange. It, it didn't blink. Mm -hmm. So I, you may have had something set different to him, but this time... Uh, it, I might have had it set wrong. I, it I did. Have to check it. But I know what it way. said, because my mama was home, and we were all on the back porch, and I said, watch this, because you can hear this person when he comes off the highway. And we saw him go by, and we saw 57 miles an hour. Or get 57 on that road. And we need to get... <laughs> and we need to... Uh, you need to share that person's name with the chief. No, we don't need to do that, but you need to share with the chief, you know. Maybe we can. He probably he probably got a good idea. But we'll keep working on it. We'll keep working on it. All right. Uh, I invited Jesse Quillen here tonight because it's our membership dues renewal to the Washington County Economic Development Group. Um, this is our fifth year, sixth year. It's finally showing some, some profits, some uh, fruits of, of the labor and everything. And Jesse, would you just kind of share, I know you can't go in detail right now because there's some things that's being worked on this private, but would you just kind sure. of share what's going on? Sure. First of all, let me just thank you, Mayor, and the council for participating. I've only been here for about 13 months now, but um, I know, like you said, five years, I think, total that y'all have been a part of that. And I sure want to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to do what I do. I, I love the work that I do. My family and I have moved down here, and I've got a 13-year-old um, out here at Washington County. So uh, we've really tried to integrate into the community. But more importantly, as far as the initiative goes, I've worked hard this past year just to to try to show you some return on your investment. And, and I can certainly appreciate the commitment that you all have made. Just want to share a few things with you right quick, and I'll be brief. But uh, 
obviously, and it comes as no surprise that infrastructure has been a main concern and a, and a main focus of efforts for us this past year, primarily over on 43, um, because it's so poor, important over there to prepare that area for growth due to Tissom Krupp, and not just them, but the industrial park in, uh, in McIntosh as well. There has certainly been some level of contact and, and a few projects that we've worked over there. Uh, you all have read in the paper about G1 Mechanical. There's no secrets there about that, where he's came and uh, committed to 100, hiring 100 folks. That hasn't happened yet. A little disappointed in that myself. But his early commitment on that did allow the commission to get that wastewater grant, which has allowed them to to at least make an attempt to put that uh, treatment facility in over there. So it's some start. It's not a perfect um, ideal scenario by no means, but it, it is a, at least a start. In addition to that, the, the, uh, the county, and, and I'm, when I say the county, I'm not referring to just the commission, but, but all of us actually are a part of regional efforts now, not just with the Mobile Chamber, but also with other economic development organizations and the five county industrial development authority which the governor formed uh, and it's important for us to remain engaged and to be a part of those efforts um, quite honestly economic development projects come through um, relationships and partnerships that you deal with with other people it's not ever a one-man show uh, can always be led by one, two, or three, or four people, but typically you're going to find large numbers of relationships that have been built and, and uh, developed over years that ultimately pay dividends, and that's kind of where we're trying to get to. Um, there have been some work with uh, existing industry, uh, both here and in, uh, in the McIntosh area, that I think have paid dividends. Uh, for instance, one of our members over at the industrial park, Cracks there, is, is expanding and they're going into the uh, North Mobile uh, TK site, work with them closely on that, but more importantly, as a direct result of uh, having been here and working with you guys and the, working with the mayor, that we now have uh, about $200 million of projects underway. Um, the most significant portion of that is actually for Chatham. Everybody thinks about industrial development and economic development. You think, well, that's all going on over around TK. That's not true. In this case, some of that is happening over here. Now, I'm going to finish that statement with this, and that is that just as industrial development and economic development projects go, that may come to fruition and it may not. But the projects are on the table right now. We're working on them uh, one day at a time trying to, to make that happen. Uh, as you all well know, the uh, things can change this afternoon or tonight or tomorrow and it may be over with or we may get to continue it and, and go to the next level with that project. But again, I want to thank you for your support of the initiative. I know, uh, you know you've got to be good stewards of public funds and I can appreciate that and I'd love to answer any questions that you all may have about my work or the initiative. Thank you.